The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. It's our weapon for advance. It's our weapon. It's not the passive one. It's the aggressive one. It's the weapon that Jesus used in his fight against the devil. When he was tested, and when you're tested, and when you're tried, and when you're tried to be lured into temptation, what Jesus would say was, it is written. And he took the it is written, and he faced Satan down, and he was victorious because he used the word of God against the devil. And I could, you know, I could tell you so many stories about how this has very practical ramifications. Sure. Some of you are in a battle, maybe with addiction, maybe with, you know, uh, uh, condemnation, maybe with pornography. How will you keep your way poor, pure? By paying attention to it. I mean, I overcame personal addiction when I was 19 years old by, by you doing this practice. I was bulimic for eight months and the Lord said, you know, you, you have to you have to fight it with the scriptures. And I would get up every day and I would go, it is written. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. And I would, 16, I'd get up and say, God, just like Paul was a bondservant and Timothy was a bondservant. Lord, I pray that you would make me your bondservant. And when I go to high school today, you know, help me to know that that's my identity. My identity is a bondservant of, of God, that that's who I am and help me to be a witness because I was really a weak Christian. I mean, the poor little Plymouth Brethren ladies in my church would pray for me every single week because they didn't know if I would make it. And this singular practice in an unfriendly environment helped me not only to make it, but to change my environment, see my whole family come to Christ, lead my dad to Jesus, you know what I mean? You know, they're all now, you know, worship leaders and elders in churches and, you know, principals of Christian schools. I mean, to see the family transformed and all that stuff. I, I'm telling you, it, it works because it's alive. It's not dead words. It's, they're living words. They're, they're transformational words. There's power inside of them. Or until. Because Jesus began the process. But he's telling them and he's telling you right now, everything prophesied must come to pass. The fact that that was 2,000 years ago, the fact that he is the greatest man that ever lived, that doesn't even take faith anymore. You look back and you know it. You must believe the remaining prophecies, the future that he's coming back to the planet to absolutely take over. Come on. 